everyone, and welcome to our brand new episode of the Three Whisketeers. So My name is Jamie, I'm your host. We have our angel haired hipster, Curtis, and we have our happy Honduran just giggling up a storm, mm -hmm. Eddie. Yeah, that's me. Uh, today our tables are empty, so what does that mean, Curtis? Surprise the enthusiast. Surprise the enthusiast, Woo! my favorite game of all time, but you know what? Before we surprise our enthusiast, somebody here just had a birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And so from uh, the Three Whisketeers to you. Room Brothers, Fry, I've been wanting to try this. Wonderful, we should open it and try it. We should, absolutely. I'd be sad if you did. Okay. Yes, I was actually up there when they first had this ready to go. Whoa. And they were just getting ready to bottle it, but they wouldn't give me a sample. Oh my gosh, what bastards. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. I said, I'll buy a bottle right now. And they said, nope, can't have it yet. This is out of Galena, Illinois? Right. Right. As I remember, the bottle I bought was that size and about 60 bucks. Oh wow, this, the yeah. finest straight rye whiskey. We never distilled. We never distilled? We never distilled. Oh, never mind. Let me read it completely. The finest straight rye whiskey we never distilled. Kind of like the only son I never had or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, It's actually very sweet. The first one hits your palate. Yeah. Which, which really surprised me. I mean, did they say- Yeah, like it's really sweet. 50% rye and the rest corn? We don't know, do we? It doesn't say. Yeah, yeah there was no box or nothing that came like that. I know you're a rye guy, so. Well, I love rye. Yeah. It's got the ending. The ending is like it stays in your the back of your throat. It's like yeah, uh, that it, menthy, ment, menthy. Yeah, menthol 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 kind of a flavor to it. It's interesting. Um, it, 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 it is. It's good. It's interesting. I really think it should have stayed in the barrel a little longer. I still th I think it's a little bit green. It is. I think. That's, that's why it gives, that's you that, what we're it gives you that push in your tongue a little too yeah. hard. I think it is too fresh. I don't I don't know how long it was in the barrel. I don't see any indication, but I... Well, it I, says straight rye, so this is when it says straight rye, doesn't that mean that they have to keep it in, in barrels for so long? No. You know, they bend the rules so much now that it's like we don't know and they don't want to tell us. Well, no, it, it doesn't mean it has to be in a barrel on any particular time, but I think this could have used a little bit more time for the finish. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No. Not bad at all. Uh, no. It's it's good, and maybe they'll have a five year version of it. Or I'm I, I'm guessing it's under two years. Two years, I would guess. I could be wrong, but I'd guess around two years. So that's for you for your birthday. Thank Take you. Take that, share it on Thank some you wish. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, another bottle to uh, surprise you with. Okay. This time, Eddie's got it for you. Wow. I like this. I like this birthday when I get gifts. Fernbrook got me a bottle of Kirkland blended Scotch whiskey, 12 years old. Well, that's nice, but pay attention to Eddie's one. I oh, am. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is a Dubliner. This caught my attention the other day at the local store. Uh, this is a Dubliner Irish whiskey, uh, bourbon cask aged. So it's aging in fine old bourbon casks that the Dubliner Irish whiskey, it's special warmth and sweet, honeyed finish. So this is they. So obviously they use American uh, barrels to make this, and I just thought it was. Uh, it says here distilled and matured in Ireland in oak casks for a minimum of three years. So they're oak barrels from America that they sent to Ireland. So it's kind of a good combination. You know, it's like an Irish American type thing. Do you have any of this on your shelf? No, no. no I actually was considering picking that up for no, the I, episode that we had with the. Uh, for, for Irish whiskey with push calls, but I got some other stuff instead. You're familiar with this though, right? You've had this before? I've never had it, no. Oh, great! Sweet in the beginning. Yeah. Interesting flavor. Almost a texture. Wow. I think I can finally use the word soapy. Soapy? Soapy. Soapy. Uh, Oh, that one's not a. It's not. Yeah. It's not a breaker. It's but not it's a breaker. Not, it's not a bank no, breaker. No, no, no. Uh, the, the retail price is around thirty bucks. Uh, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, compared nope. it to the uh, what? What's the Bushmills up there? Uh, larger bottle, thirty-five. Yeah, and I would. Yeah. And again, we're talking about prices in the state of Iowa, which are yeah, usually. Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah, <laughs> to really talk about that. I mean, and this, yes, I, I would agree with Britannian. Uh, I, this is more like the White Bush. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is like. Uh, easy drinking. Uh, this is not like a big event. This is something you just kind of when where you're gonna have a little whiskey. You drink this and you don't want 
If you want to have an Irish whiskey on your shelf, yeah, that's an excellent one to have. Yeah, for yeah for beginners, for anybody. Right. I think it's just you know it's nice, gonna, it's smooth, it's easy, it's yep. it's it's not complex. Nobody's going to complain about that at all. No, home. they're going to be like, oh, yeah, this was a good uh, good pull, man. That was a good catch. Yeah, sort of uh, sad I didn't grab it. Oh, well, it's yours now. Oh, it is. Well. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday to me. <laughs> Let's do a quick compare. Jameson's. Standard Jameson's. Which which would we we want to put on our shelf or just having people over and having a nice whiskey? What do you think? I already know. I think I like this better. I do too. Dublin or I don't think Definitely it's Dubliner. I mean, I'm not no gonna question. say I'm not gonna say I don't like Jameson. I actually think it's pretty good. Um, I've had uh, Jameson a lot all over the place. Yeah, that, I mean that's common. Everybody common. has it. Everybody, Everybody thinks you want to have an Irish whiskey, they're gonna throw you that. That's a, a surprise, and I love it. Yeah, that's what I really. Even it was a shock. Light, to yeah, me. even though it's light, it's just got, it's got a lot of lot of small notes in there that just kind of keep you in there. This mm -hmm. is kind of like yeah, we had it. Yeah. Yep. So. Out with the old and in with the new, in my opinion. That's right. We'll uh, finish this one up, and then I got one more for a surprise. This one, uh, my friend is coming home with me, so you got your free bottle, and he gave you his, so but this one is coming home with me. What if I want to trade? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? Yes. That's not a trade. I've never seen this, never had it. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Dead silence. I've been holding it. <laughs> Oh, this was the one I was looking for for Burn, except it's not. It's the Sherry Cast Reserve, and I was looking for the 1992, but good buy. Yes! Nice. I've never had it, but let's have it and find out. Glenn, Ro what is it? Glenn Rowley's? Yeah. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen this on a shelf, so no. uh, this really caught my eye, and I don't know how to open it, so. Uh, established in 1879, uh, Sherry Cast Reserve. Bayside single malt scotch whiskey. Uh, the character is supposed to be spicy ginger, orange peel, and cherry oak. Uh, Forty percent, so it's just regular, regular. Well, not when you bring something like this home with you. No, no, there's no problems with this one. I bet we got you that excited. Yeah, I've been looking forward to trying this, and like I said, I have not seen this in the state of Iowa in a very long time. I like that color. Yeah. And how old is this one? Does it say it's just a regular uh, scotch? Well, 1879. Oh, it's been around since it was made in 1879. So it's 100. Oh. So, so the age isn't listed. No, really. What do you get to the nose? What do you smell? It's a little bit like rye, I think. Just a little hint. It's me kind of hard. I can see with a spicy and did orange you, uh, peel. Did you not rinse your glass well enough? Uh, no, no, I. I can smell the orange. Uh, I think I'll just enjoy smelling this for a while. This would be good with a cigar. Yeah, Did you have a drink yet? Not yet. I got a little bit of ginger, but a, a lot of orange, orange uh, peel, and the oak, uh, sherry oak. What do you think of the taste? Um, I like it. I think it's um, kind of reminds me of Stag Junior because he hits you pretty hard, but there's also that little ryeness, kind of like a rye touch to it and it's pretty sweet there's some, there's some spice and it's spicy what, what it are you what, spicy what are you what are you uh, getting what are you smelling what's your impression right now love it can't take it home with you it's staying here i don't think so i'm gonna have to run off like a running back in a football game yeah you're gonna have to because i'll tackle you before you leave the house yeah this is definitely spicy <laughs> you should have brought two with you so i could have kept one yeah i should i should have yeah you should have so get on your bike and go. <laughs> <laughs> now, they close at 8. How much was this one? Uh, 66. That's not bad, really, considering like the, the flavor. This was the only bottle that they had there. Oh, wow. Um, so there was no different versions or types or anything else. And I was like, boy, this one just kind of standing out alone. Yeah, it's been there for a while. It's been it lonely, and it needed eat. someone to pick it up and take it home. And they had more than one? No. Boy, how are you going to get out of here alive? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's think, what I want to know. I think he wants it. It might come out 
take it all, drink it all. I don't think I want to introduce to anybody to this. But oh, this why definitely, not? This is like this. Amazing. I think maybe this once they wonderful. have once they had a session with the lighter stuff, this would be something like okay, try this now. We need to have Melissa back to try this. She would taste this and she would just go into. It. I mean, flavor it just bursts in your mouth. It's intense. It, it is balanced. It's wonderful. And even after you swallow, it's still elegant. It doesn't. Yeah, it I is think, well yeah. You know what? I think that's the word I was looking for. It's elegant. I think it's more elegant than Stag What do you think, James? I, I like that they said the, the balance and the elegance. And it's just a, a warm hug. Ooh. I'm digging this a lot. <laughs> I am so happy that I went out and found it. We finally found something because this kind of looks like a like a rum bottle. <laughs> and, you know, and the way I, I had to take, I had to take the dust off it. I'm like, right. Brad, Jamie, what the what in the H are you bringing to us here, man? It's like a so yeah. we're gonna die. It was a find. It's definitely a find, and I like this cork too. It's wood. The Glen Roths, they did it. I'm going to be enjoying this after we stop filming. Well, all right, then let's have a final thought. I really enjoy this. This is really nice. I mean, I know I don't have a complex palate that I can explain every flavor and everything else, but this really, yeah, the initial taste is sweet, mm -hmm. and then it becomes complex. Yeah. And it just fills you like a hug, like a you nice said. A nice warm hug. Yeah. And, and I really love it, and you're not going to make it out of the house alive. <laughs> what are your final thoughts, my friend? My final thought is, next time I see anything made by Glenn Rose, these... Uh, Glenn Rhodes? Rosies? Glenn Roths? I don't know. I don't think it's Glenn Roths. Yeah. Glenn Roths? Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is, whatever it is I find at the store, I'm going to get it. Unless it's like 300 bucks. I got to say that this was the biggest surprise. Now, the one that you brought in, the Dubliner, was a, was a, was a wonderful surprise, too. Yeah. But this is just obviously... This, this kicks It's back. almost even like speechless. Yeah. We don't, we're just like really shocked and in, in awe of it. And uh, on that note, I think Great Britannia wants you to take us out of here so we can just nope. freely what? You did good, Jamie. You, you need a reward. <laughs> you need a reward. Here comes a hug. Oh, a nice warm hug from oh, an angel haired hipster. <laughs> better than a hug. Oh, better not. An $800 bottle of George T. Stag. All right. So I will go get a couple first glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo Trace. And uh, here is actually, this was uh, distilled in the spring of 2002, released in 2017, 129.2 proof, and it is a mill screen number 10, cook temperature 240 degrees, Kentucky limestone reverse osmosis, carbon steel black iron ferrite, sour mash, double distilled beer still, and doubler 135 proof new white oak number four charred charred for 55 seconds independent stave from lebanon kentucky 125 proof at the barrel entry 53 liquid gallons 66.25 original proof gallons warehouse c k m and q uh, floor one two three and six Evaporation loss was 54.3%, and it is oh. barrel selection 309, hand selected barrel, filtration none, production age 15 years, 3 months at bottling, espresso, chocolate, fudge, and tobacco. So, from Buffalo Trace. Like I said, you did good. You deserved a reward. and Britannia. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to do this now? Yes. Okay. Carry us home, friend. All for one. And one, one for all. all.